Hey, what is up? My name is Sierra Brown coming at you with another video today in a new setup with a new arrangement and I am feeling so pumped about it. So today I'm going to be filming a current beauty obsessions for you guys. I'm really, really excited to film this because I rediscovered a couple products that I've been loving lately and then there's some things that I've seen results with over time that I'm excited to update you on. So yeah, grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfortable. It's going to be a longer one and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with skincare. I am a huge, huge, huge skincare fanatic you guys um I have very clear skin even though I do wear a decent amount of like face makeup on a day-to-day -day basis I don't get this done up so I like to take care of my skin that way I feel confident in my skin even when I'm not all done up and I think that it's just really important to take care of your skin anyway age gracefully you know what I'm saying this has changed my skincare routine incredibly I switched to using bioelements now I am someone I used to use Dermalogica and I still love Dermalogica but I'm someone who I feel like my skin gets into a routine where if it's using too much of the same stuff for a while it actually starts to reject it so it was time for me to switch it up for all of my oily skinned people out there decongestant cleanser by bio elements is going to be your best friend this gets out all of the impurities but it's such a lightweight gel cleanser but it gets the job done I don't know I love this so much um, I buy mine from salon centric and salon centric is a wholesale retailer you do have to be licensed to shop there however I'm gonna try and find this and link this down below for you guys just in case you're not licensed and see if I can find a way that you can order this too on top of that I love skin editor now skin editor is in um, alfi hydroxy acid peel cream so anyone that has any type of acne scarring hyperpigmentation dark spots any deep divots in your skin this completely clears it up one thing I will say about this is this is very very strong um, in the acid feel for someone like me with my skin so I try to only use this twice a week or I start to notice that my skin starts to dry out a little bit so I kind of use it as needed but when I tell you guys I used to have really bad acne like all along my cheeks in high school this cleared it right up any scarring any divots anything like that definitely been loving bio elements next thing I want to talk about is hair care I'm also a huge hair care person I did balayage in my hair back in March so you know putting bleach on it I on top of someone who uses a lot of heat tools on their hair, it's very, very imperative for me to take good care of my hair if I want it to continue to grow and be shiny and be bouncy and strong. This is my hair care secret, but it's not really secret because I feel like so many people know about this now. This is Olaplex number three, you guys. So this is my holy grail hair product this is a pre shampoo treatment so what that means is you're gonna dampen your hair you're gonna put this all over your hair make sure it's nice and saturated and let it sit on for a minimum of 10 minutes honestly I let mine sit on to 25 to a half hour it's gonna seal down that cuticle pack it with hydration it's gonna give it a little protein punch really strengthen it and it leaves your hair super silky shiny strong who doesn't want that? I only use this product once or twice a week. I absolutely love this stuff, you guys. It has really, really, really helped strengthen my hair and keep it nice and strong through all of the damage that I put it through. I forgot to mention that you can also purchase Olaplex. If you are not licensed, you can purchase number three at Sephora. I'll have that link down below for you guys. So moving forward from that, you guys, I try to implement products that also heal and strengthen my hair. So I have two right here that do it. They get the job done. I have seen results in my hair after all of the trauma that I've put it through. So the first thing is Moroccan oil. And this brand has blown up over the years and for good reason. It works. I'm absolutely obsessed with Moroccan oil. I've used the shampoos, the conditioners, the hair mask. This is the actual oil. I love this so, so, so much. I will put this on my hair after I wash it um, and get out of the shower and kind of, you know, like wring out majority of the water. I'll put this in. Let my hair air dry, blow dry, whatever I'm going to do. And then I'll actually go back and I'll put more of this on my dry hair just for any flyaways to give my hair a little bit more shine, a little bit more moisture, something that's a little bit harder to get your hands on. If you're not licensed, you might have to go through a stylist and buy it through a salon or something like that. But I promise you it is absolutely worth it. 
The next thing that I want to talk about is a product from the brand Lanza. And this is a brand that's a little bit newer to me. This is trauma treatment, you guys. So this is something that you can leave in your hair and rinse out, or you can leave in your hair and style as usual. I typically just mix this. I do like a little hair cocktail. I'll do a little bit of oil and I'll do a little bit of trauma treatment, mix it together in my hand, put it through the mid shafts to the ends of my hair because that's what really, really needs it. Most of your hair products, if you're feeling like, well, I don't really use hair products because my scalp gets too greasy, nah, 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 you don't really need to focus a ton of product and conditioner at your scalp. I typically focus it mid shaft to ends, anything that's left over in my hands, I do like a quick swipe on the top and that's it. But these two together, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it has strengthened my hair. My hair is still growing even after everything I've done to it and put it through. I do keep up on my trims normally, but if you're looking at my hair, like I just blew out and flat ironed my hair. It's getting long. It's nice and shiny. It's nice and strong. I have very, very strong hair and I owe it to my hair care routine. To update you on my two favorite perfumes that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if I've talked about this before. I feel like I have. I am still Rocking Angel by Terry Mugler, you guys. Ever since I received this for Christmas, I've been wearing it full time. Oh my God. When I tell you I get compliments on this perfume from men, women, everyone of all ages, I get so many compliments when I wear this perfume. It's just the sexiest floral musk, deep vanilla smell. Next time you're in Sephora, just pick it up, give it a smell. I love this stuff so, so much. Yeah. The next thing, and this is actually something I acquired from my mom recently. This is Unbreakable Bond by Chloe and Lamar. R.I.P. Chloe and Lamar, but you guys made a killer scent. So this is what this looks like. And the reason why I'm so keen and so hype about this is because have you guys ever smelled mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works? This perfume smells exactly like mahogany teak wood. It's like you're walking around smelling like that all day. Perfect cross between a female perfume and a male cologne. It's so sexy. It's so deep and woodsy and dark. I love this. And now that we're transitioning into fall, this is my baby. I found a new foundation combo that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So this is the Total Control Drop Foundation by NYX. I love this so, so much for two reasons. Number one, it keeps me matte all day long. I have to blot typically about like four to five hours in, which is normal for someone with like super over active like oil in their T-zone. I get longevity out of this. I love my skin. It's like my skin looks filtered, but in the most natural, beautiful matte way. I love it so, so much. And another reason why I love it is because the shade that I have, True Beige, is True Beige. I am someone who is so yellow toned, you guys. It is so difficult for me to find foundations because everything, not everything, but most things in my opinion are so peachy. They're so peachy. They're so cool toned. And I'm like, no, I'm like, I need a true yellow foundation. True beige, buy this true yellow. I love it so much. Beautiful on the skin. I love applying this with a damp beauty blender. Boom, boom, boom. And then I set it with this. This is the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation by NYX as well. I'm obsessed with this. I have this in warm beige. I feel like the shade for this is absolutely perfect for me as well. It's not as yellowy. It's a little bit more on the neutral side, but it's still these two together. Looks gorgeous. It matches my body perfectly. This combo, you guys, I've been going for it every single day. My go-to bronzer has stayed the same for the past past two years, I did veer off and I tried butter bronzer. I love butter bronzer, but I still ended up going back to this. So this is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You guys already know the deal. This has been around for so long. I actually ended up making the mistake and buying medium deep, which is typically a little on the darker side for me, but honestly, lately it's been working. It's summertime still, so um, I'm a little bit more on the tan side, but it's the most gorgeous matte brown shade. It's super cool toned. Um, I love it to contour. I love it to warm up my face. And if you've never smelled this, please go to Ulta. Please go to Sephora and pick this up and smell it. It smells absolutely incredible. So I switched to a brow pomade and I love it. I love the way that my brows look. It helps them look so much more full and more natural in my opinion. So I went with the Milani um, Stay Put Brow Color and I have the shade Soft Brown 01. I have a little bit of like a warmer base of hair color and I just feel like this looks absolutely stunning. It matches perfectly. It's a nice little matte clay if you will and it comes with a little spoolie like this. 
And honestly, I do my brows with this every single day and I absolutely love it. It helps them stay put. They don't move. The color's great. The consistency is easy to work with. I have nothing bad to say about this. I have been loving this mascara combo so, so much. I get asked all of the time, are those your real eyelashes? What's going on? What are you using? And this is Lights, Camera, Flashes by Tarte. So this is just a sample size. Like I said, I love the wand on this, you guys, because it really goes in and defines all of your individual lashes. I love spiky wands like this. It gets in there, separates them out, no clumps. So once I do that, I do this first. Then I go in with a $4.99 mascara. Shout out Casey Holmes. She got me hooked on this. This is by Essence, you guys. It is their Volume Stylist Lash Extensions Mascara. Oh, oh. This is the icing on the cake. This is I, I'm, I'm sorry. I need you to go buy this. I have been talking about this on my personal Instagram probably for the past three months telling people, yo, you're missing out if you have not tried this. It is the creamiest, blackest, most beautiful mascara that just coats your lashes and makes them look out of this world. This combo has been killer for me. I love it. I get length. I get separation. I get volume. I get absolutely all of the points that you're looking for when you're looking for a mascara. It doesn't run. It doesn't transfer. I love it. The next thing I want to talk about is the Lash Growth Serum that I've been using for the past six, seven months. So this is Grande Lash MD, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with this product. I back this product 110%. And I want to tell you that I was very skeptical when I heard about it. Um, I was like, okay, like, is it really working? Is it all in your head? Is it going to cause me any type of blindness? Is it going to cause me any type of dark spots on my eyes? I was very worried. So I did some research and I looked up and Grande Lash is actually made with plant peptides. So it's more gentle on your eye. You don't have any type of irritation. You don't have any type of side effects. You just get a lash boost. You get longer lashes, you get volume, and you get growth and you get stronger lashes as well so I started using this and you're not supposed to see results for four to six weeks when I tell you guys on the third week I could tell a difference in my lashes I can't make this up it's almost like they curl better like they curl up on their own as well it's just a fantastic product so it looks just like this and all you do is you apply it once at night. It's just a little serum on this nice little fine tip brush. You apply it just like you would apply a liquid eyeliner and that's it. You go to sleep, you're done. I love this stuff so much. I don't get any burning, any tingling, any dis um, comfort or anything like that. It's just a fantastic product. I'm going to have it linked down below for you guys. It is very pricey. I'm going to tell you that straight up. I'm never going to be anything but transparent on here. It is a pricey ass product but it works. Obviously we are transitioning into fall, so you already know that means dark lips, dark nails, dark makeup, pumpkin spice lattes, all of the things, and I've wasted no time on breaking out my dark lips. So I wanna tell you guys a couple of my absolute faves. The first one that I'm wearing, and these are all super affordable for you, and you're gonna be able to go and find them right now. This is Cinnamon Spice by Wet n Wild. So this is 917B, and this is a matte lipstick. It's what I have on my lips right now. And oh, it is just the perfect wine burgundy red. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't bleed. I wouldn't say it's a true matte finish. Looking at it, I feel like it has a little bit of a sheen, but I do not mind it. The next thing is a burgundy blush. This is $6.96. This is by Maybelline. And it is from their matte collection. It is gorgeous so it's definitely you can see this is a very true dark maroon brown base absolutely gorgeous I feel like this is stunning on any skin tone I, I both of these I feel like it's stunning on any skin tone I feel like you can rock anything that you truly want to you just got to have the confidence and just make it happen so this is burgundy blush by Maybelline obsessed one is give me mocha now this one's a little bit more on the lighter side I feel like it's a perfect every single day neutral sexy mauve red color so this is the wet and wild liquid lipsticks I absolutely love this formula you guys it is so comfortable it stays on it doesn't get all blocky and weird oh my god these all look exactly the same that's hilarious but I just feel like it's such a comfortable formula and I love these they're so affordable this is give me mocha like I said the perfect every single day mauvey red it's absolutely gorgeous once again beautiful on any skin tone this is my fall palette. I love it. I'm super, super excited for fall. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am feeling 
oh, I'm feeling really good and kind of like I got a new wave of energy over me. I'm feeling so re-inspired and just ready to do this. Just want to say ahead of time, thank you so much for your support, your love, your time, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.